So coach was coach was look JB Bickerstaff one of the best in the business. He is he's going to tell you the truth, right? He's going to tell you the truth. What we're going to do is we're going to tell you as players what what we see, right? Now all of those plays were correct. What is what are you seeing from James Harden? And I want to talk more about the decline right. than it is like, right. hey, what can he do yeah. in these moments? Well, I, I, I want to think in my mind that he's only 32, so it, it, maybe he's still hampered. I don't want to think that he's really lost the step that he's always had and been an amazing who gave not only me but every defender in the league nightmares. You know, as Coach Biggerstaff spoke, James always used those extra dribbles to set up his rhythm and get you leaning one way or another. So if you lean, he was quick to attack that angle. And another thing that I don't think we're talking about as much RJ is he manipulated the foul rule so much that they changed that at the beginning of the season and yeah. we spoke uh, on that early in the season we haven't talked about it as much but he can have an off shooting night and still have 15 to 10 okay free throws. stand here and I'm going to show you something this is the issue stand right there so this is the issue James Harden when he's got all of his handle you still have to be close to him because you're afraid of the deep three and so now that handle you're going left and right and he gets to dance with you because you have to be close but when he is shooting 32 percent from three 36 percent from Three. Now you can give him a little, a little bit, bit more space. Bit so space. all that dancing that he does, you can absorb it. You can absorb it far more. And so that's the issue. The reason why I think James wanted to come play uh, with Joel Embiid is because he needs Joel Embiid. The same way LeBron James needed uh, uh, Anthony Davis. The way these star players need other star players. He's at a space in his career where I don't know if it's a if it's a complete decline like you said. It could be still hampered. But he went from 36 to 34 to 25 to 22 and it's looking like it's starting to progress in that wrong direction because he doesn't have the star player next to him oh. so that puts more emphasis on one on one mm. which we haven't seen that one on one really in years but again also keep in mind you know as great a score as he is he's had plenty of off shooting nights like everyone else yeah. has but he would also get 15 to 17 points from the free throw line and still end up with 28 to 35 points Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.